Alright, hello fun and welcome to my new Fallout New Vegas series of Race to the Bottom, where today I'm quite excited to get started up on this mod. As you guys know me, I love Fallout New Vegas. It's my favorite of the Fallout franchise, and it's just always absolutely amazing seeing more quest and adventure mods still being made for it after all these years. And this one was just released a couple of months ago, back in August. So I'm very excited to see what all this is, especially considering the fact, according to the description on the mod page, this is apparently around about uh, the same size as the Fallout 4 Automatron DLC. So we should have a few hours of fun play here, which I am very much looking forward to. Now, I did decide to use the same character we have been using in the last two Fallout New Vegas series we've done, of, of course, working on the Chain Gang and most recently Havasu Blues, because, well, we do need to be, or at least rather have, a couple of levels. I think it recommends 10 to 15 for this mod pack. And, you know, I didn't want to to be starting off real low again. So yeah, we uh, should be, yeah, be, yeah, level 20 right there. We do have a fair amount of equipment, which should help us out, and I actually do have some space. I'm not overloaded. Magnificent. Wonderful. That should really help us. And uh, just shortly after coming into the game, after just a brief wait where I had to travel from Havasu, because we left off there, of course, in the last series, into the, well, our you know, normal world here in Fallout New Vegas, we got this quest, the Hawthorne Husbandry, where apparently we got a little pop-up that said that a Freeside co-op had opened up to sell fresh produce to the people of Freeside, and we should go and check it out. So, yeah, brought us over here to Freeside, which, um... I had forgotten that since we had played these on uh, two characters that avoided the main storyline, that I actually don't have the marker into, like, New Vegas proper. <laughs> that's that's the undiscovered marker down there on my compass. Interesting. I hadn't even thought about that. I guess yeah, we never ended up going into New Vegas for uh for those quest lines. Especially Havasu Blues, of course, because well that was in a whole other part of the world. But here we are, we got the freeze side go up. Cool. Anything on the side or is it just uh yep, no, no back door from the look of it. Do appear to have a guard, though. Hello, sir. Am I supposed to talk to you, maybe? Roy, hi! Welcome to the Hub of Grub. Uh-huh. Freeside Co-op. Hub Go of Grub, huh? and speak to Ella if you're looking for... Vegas made produce for a reasonable price. Oh, wonderful. Thank you, Roy. Wow, I think I managed to say the catchphrase right this time. Well, good for you. See, that's a shock. Doesn't matter. I'm getting paid either way. You know, fair. Fair, man. Fair. Anyway, you're welcome to keep your weapons, but any sign of trouble and you'll be getting a bullet straight in your eyes. Is that what happened to you? We've already had one <laughs> robbery. <gasps> Have you? Any funny business won't be tolerated. Got it. I assume that I'm going to be helping with... Actually, no, I know we're helping with a robbery because I'm now remembering when I was reading the description on the mod page yesterday. That's what it's all about. We're helping them with the robbery. <laughs> You mentioned there was a robbery, though, Roy. Yeah, I'm afraid so. It was on break, and that's when they struck. I'd ask Ella. She might have a job to go catch the bastards. Sweet. There's our thing. Hey, so what can you tell me about this place? I'm not paid to know the details. You should ask Ella about it. Something about food and farmers or something. I mean, shouldn't you know a little bit? Dude, you're guarding the place, but okay. Do you like working here? Do I like working here? Hmm. What the fuck do you think? How would you like to stand your most of your day with sore feet dealing with the locals? I mean, you're getting paid, right? Ugh, dumber than a bag of rocks, I swear. I will no blow you how up. How many times I say, talk to Ella, they come back and ask me anyway. Ha! <laughs> I mean, that's fair. Don't get me started on those two fuckers across the road shouting the same tired slogans day in and day out until you have a migraine. Oh, God, I know. I agree with you there, Roy. So, no, I fucking hate my job. Any more stupid questions? So, were you involved in the robbery? <laughs> if you hate your job, uh, I guess I should get going. Finally, I've been waiting for a smoke break all day. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't think he's a very good guard. <laughs> Though I, I understand, I understand having to deal with those people shouting all day on the other side of the street. That's, um, I'm so sorry, Roy. All right, well, in we go to the Freeside Co-op. <laughs> All right. Hello, hello. Hold on one moment. I'm going to snoop. I want to see what all you got. 
Okay, you know, you're just a pretty standard looking store. You do got a fair amount of produce, though, as one would expect, considering the shop. But also some just more generic products. Seems just a pretty typical little store. Oh, there's a computer. Is it? Is it? Yep. Oh, dang. I was, <laughs> I was worried it might be red. Oh, we'll investigate that at another time when she's not staring at us. Yeah, you got a gun on your back? What you got? Shotgun. Cool, 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 cool. So, hey. Hey, Ella Hawthorne. How are you? Welcome to the Freeside Co-op. Hi. Haven't seen your face around here before. You a newcomer in town? You know, apparently, apparently, yeah, I haven't, I don't think I've been here. Well, no, I think we've been through the outer Freeside in the previous two mods we played, but, huh, I can't remember. Yeah, no, I'm new in this part, certainly. I'm new in town, never been here before. Ah, I'm not far behind you. Only came here a few weeks back. Oh, okay. It's been hard to settle in. Especially when your nickname is NCR, bitch. Yeah, that would be difficult. Don't worry about that, though. Just dumb idiots being dumb idiots, I guess. That's fair. They'll accept this place in time. Let's hope. Well, I'd like to think so, anyway. Now, is there anything I can get you? Well, I mean, I want to talk, but let's check what you got for sale first. If it's an omelet you're wanting, it'll only be five minutes. Oh, <gasps> yum, I love omelets. All right, let's see. Let's go through the things. Not a whole lot of caps. Granted, I mean, no one has a lot of caps compared to me. So just a lot of good generic food in here, as one would expect. Crow egg omelets? How big are crow eggs? I don't know. I never thought about that before. <laughs> Now I'm going to have to Google that later out of curiosity. How many crow eggs does it take to make an omelet? <laughs> okay, dog stays. Yeah, but pretty typical stuff in here. Okay, wonderful. A lot of food, though. Dear God, if you are playing the game, you know, role-playing it with um, survival or anything like that, you got plenty of options in here. Uh, some miscellaneous stuff, some, not much, though, of... Oh, wait, no, I was at the bottom. I tried to scroll down and didn't go anywhere, so I thought I was good, but no, 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 we gotta go up, gotta go up. Okay, so actually a decent amount of stuff in here, too. Anything? Nope, just... All right, so just eight items and all food and some miscellaneous things. Got it. So, hey, do you like living in Freeside? God, no. Oh. When I first thought about moving out to the frontier... I was expecting excitement, adventure. Uh-huh. Instead, it mostly just smells of piss and disappointment. Although that may just be the locals. Yeah, it's definitely the locals. Got a word of advice for you, stranger. Watch your caps out there, especially in your Mick and Ralphs. Oh, I mean, yeah, of course. <laughs> Pickpockets everywhere. Nobody would stand for that back home in the Republic. Mm -hmm. NCR police would sort them out quick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be able to look myself in the mirror if that were me. Okay, I mean, I understand that she's from the NCR, so this place to her would be the frontier. But is it really the frontier when you literally came to a city? <laughs> you know, friggin' Vegas? <laughs> I can understand if she was out in like one of those smaller towns or something. But in Freeside? Just on the outskirts of Vegas? Uh, all right, all right. Well, what are my options here? Don't worry, I can defend myself. Yeah, it's definitely rough out there. Don't envy anyone living in Freeside. I mean, that's where I think we're going here. Nothing worse than a thief. Someone ought to clean up these streets. I'm going to go with this one. I like this. Yeah, it's definitely rough out there. Don't envy anyone living in Freeside. No matter where you go in the wasteland, there's always some scumbags who can't take to an honest living. I mean, that's just normal life, unfortunately. People like me, you, and Roy are what people should be looking up to out there. Too many people depended on those hippies over at the old fort. This place could be a lot better if people were actually willing to put some effort in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, I do agree with you that there are some people nearby, though. Oh, God, what's the name of the place where they were stealing the water and murdered the NCR dude? <laughs> so they could grow better crops? Ah, uh, I'm forgetting the name. Forgetting the name. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. what do we got here? Hard work pays off. Yeah, I think it's a little bit more... It is definitely a little bit more complicated than that. But, um... No or care what you're talking about. I'm going to go with that because in reality it is very much more complicated. But, yeah. But also they do need to do more around here. <laughs> Can't say I agree with you, stranger. You might not lead a fulfilling life, but perhaps you want a fulfilling meal instead. You know what? I do love a good meal. So, before we talk about work, what is this place? It's a store my father and I set up. We provide an outlet for the goods of local Vegas farmers. Neat. 
It's a win-win situation. We get paid and the farmers get access to a much larger customer base both in Vegas and back home in the NCR. Oh, you guys export too? The farmers wouldn't be able to get their produce anywhere near as far without us. I'm intrigued. How do you get it that far? That to them, though. They'll just end up grumbling about how we're eating into their profits, the profits we help them get. I mean, yeah. So, if you know anyone reasonable who's looking to sell produce, tell them all about the co-op. I wonder if we can genuinely do that. wondering what exactly you can buy? It's fresh produce straight from the farm. We also sell all manner of pre-war food. Go. Oh, yeah, I already saw it before. With all that said, is there anything I can get you? Oh, we still got more talking here, Ella. We still got more to Oh my god. Yes. You mentioned oh, well, you know what? Let's talk more about Freeside. I want to know what she thinks about the different places around here. Sure thing. I can tell you what I know. What exactly do you want to know about? Oh my god, how many options are we going to have here? This is great. The Atomic Wrangler! It's a cheap knockoff of those Vegas casinos. Too true! Most people who don't meet the cap requirements those bots ask for end up there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Understandable. Put it this way. I'd love access to the Garrett Twins' safe. Think that'd make me a very rich woman. You know, I've broken into it before in a previous playthrough. It really wasn't great in there. <laughs> what about the Kings? They're the biggest gang in town. People around here seem to think they're good for the community. What, do they forget they need to pay that pretty boy by the water pump every time they want a drink? Yeah, that's unfortunate. Anywhere else, they call that extortion. Anyway, enough about those jokers. What else can I do for you? <laughs> oh, what else you got here? Ooh, the Silver Rush down on the opposite end of the alley. It's owned by the Van Graffs. They're a powerful family from New Reno. Mm hmm Not to be messed with. Yeah, I've killed them a fair few times in this game. They sell powerful energy weapons, so if you're looking for something exotic, then the Silver Rush is your best bet. Just make sure you keep your mouth shut, especially near Jean-Baptiste. Don't think I've heard anything good about that man. Yeah, he's kind of a dick. All right, and let's talk about something else. Okay, what do you want to talk about? Well, I think we're now going to talk to you about... People calling you an Ansar, bitch? Why? Well, it's no secret I'm from the Republic. Mm -hmm. My dad and I deal with a lot of local farmers, so the name Hawthorne is well known around these parts. Is it? It doesn't help when the kings are riling people up, blaming us NCR folk for Freeside's problems. Yeah, that is problematic. Uh, okay, so let's get on with the work. Got any? Sure do. Got plenty of problems around here that I can't take care of on account of having to work behind the counter. Uh-huh. I'm needing someone who knows their way around a gun. Well, I grenades do. I just use Roy, but I need him around to make sure I'm not held at gunpoint again. Fair, fair. Can tell you more if you're interested. So, what do you say? I mean, of course I'm interested. You said you were held at gunpoint. Tell me more. Yeah. A couple of days ago was business as usual when all of a sudden a gang comes in and kicks the front door in, nearly taking it off its hinges. How rude. They were screaming at the top of their lungs, demanding I give them all the caps in the register. It shook me up a little as it would anyone, but my pa taught me how to use a shotgun back on the ranch, so I bided my time. Uh-huh. Did you take out at least I one of them? the ringleader tell me to get out of town or I'd be leaving it in a body bag. My pa taught me not to let anyone threaten me that way. Okay, good. So, on their way out, I took a shot at one of them. Noise? Didn't hit the bastard clean enough. They oh. Had to away. Well, that's unfortunate. I thought maybe the kings would have come running to help with the gunshots so close by, but maybe they just don't care. Bastards. Yeah, it's probably that. It's probably Those the latter. Those thieves managed to get away with my entire day's profits. I can't do without that money, I'm afraid. The job is to track them down and get my money back. Get it. There's a good share of the profits in it for you. Now... Do you have any questions? Well, I'm pretty sure that share of the profits isn't going to be anywhere near the money I usually make, but, you know, I'm going to take it. Pantry of Democracy is the... <laughs> Love it. Love it. So, how do you survive a shotgun blast from uh, such a short distance? Probably because she's not as good of a shot as she thinks. Guess he got lucky or my aim is just shit. I'm going to go... Okay, Strange yeah, fair. world we live in. I heard on the radio that some courier survived getting shot in the head in Good Springs. Oh, that was me! Maybe it's the same person. No, definitely not. I haven't robbed you. So, how'd the culprit get past Roy? Probably because Roy's in on it. That's my assumption. He was out to lunch down at the Wrangler at the time. Oh. He's sweet on one of the escorts down there. Of course he is. <laughs> Poor guy. 
Hasn't got the courage to just go and ask her out. Okay, so he was gone. I mean, I still, I still don't trust Roy, but he's got an alibi at least. So, what the culprits look like? There was a group of them. Ringleader seemed to be an older fella. The others seemed to look up to him. Mm -hmm. There were two women and two other guys with them. Seemed like a cobbled together bunch. Maybe they were all a gang. Interesting. Okay. Have you thought about hiring more security? That sounds dangerous. I don't have the spare caps, I'm afraid. Only got enough to hire an extra mercenary, and guess who that is? Oh, me. Yay. Good. I guess I could go ask my pa for help, but I know what he's like. He worries too much. I can handle this myself. Also, where is your pa? You said so, you started this yeah. with him? You'll have to deal with this little problem for me. Got it. Yeah, you said you started up this place with him, but I don't see him in the store anywhere, and the only other person's Roy outside. Interesting. So, I'm out of questions. Where should I start? I've got a decent idea of where you should start, but there's one more thing you should know first. Oh, yes? You're not the first merc I've sent on this job. Hired another armed merc. Decent price, too. Went by the name of Frank Adams. Local around here. Uh-huh. I never pegged him to be a tough guy, but I guess you've got to be to survive out there on a diet of rad roach meat. That's fair. Always seemed like a fairly quiet kid, but I guess people can surprise you. For example, who knew I'd be in business in my late 20s? All right. When Frank heard about the robbery, he offered to investigate as long as I could pay him well. Naive young kid undercut himself, I think. Either way, I'm not one for complaining when I get a good deal. Let me guess, it didn't turn out well. I think it might have been him that robbed me, and he's came back for a double dip. Oh. The kid was always dirt poor. All right, all right. Either way, I think he's our best lead. You might want to start by talking to his drunken ass of a friend, Billy. Got it. Fine, drunken ass of a friend. Wrangler most likely crawling on the floor drunk. Watch yourself there. I swear the car dealer's cheating that dump. Anyway, you need anything else before you go? I don't. I don't. There was a weird change in quality in your voice on that very last line, but the rest was quite good. I'll be off. Bye-bye, Ella. Come back soon now. Will do. Will do. All right, so we have our mission. Pantry of Demo... I'm so intrigued what it... Uh, why? Why is it called Pantry of Democracy? I... Okay. Find out where Frank Adams may have gone. Rumor has it Billy Jackson had spoken to him in the Atomic Wrangler. Got it. Let's move. Roy? I just don't trust you. Got any more to say after I've talked to Ella? I said talk to Ella at the counter. I did! Still standing there? Fine. What is it you want? I don't trust you, buddy. Apparently nothing. I'm out. Finally. Yeah, I'm out. Bye-bye. <laughs> Okay, let's go to the Atomic Wrangler. Make a brief stop at the yeah, Atomic no, Wrangler. I mean, I was about to say no, I won't, but I literally am heading there right now, aren't I? <laughs> All right, into the Atomic Wrangler, we get wrong button, wrong button. I was just recording some Salt 2, so I hit F to interact with the thing. <laughs> Whoops. Hey. All right. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? All right, so we need to go over there. Let's handle this. Let's talk to this guy. Let's turn on our light. There we go, so we can see. Okay, that's, that's not a very good angle to be on because I was standing on the table. What up, Billy? What are you looking at? You. Can a man get a drink in this town without some clown trying to start some small talk? What is it you want? Well, you're, you're in an RPG, so of course people are going to come and talk to you. Well, players. I'm looking for a guy called Frank Adams. Heard you know him. Yeah, of course I know Frank. We go way back. I've been watching out for that kid for years. No, oh, okay, good. Nowadays, he won't listen to a word I say. You know what it's like with the young. Think they know best. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I can tell you that he isn't here anymore. He in Freeside, I mean. Oh, where'd he go? Let's see. Cool, when did you last see him, if you don't mind me asking? What kind of business is it of yours? I thought people knew to keep their nose out of other people's affairs. Here. Oh, definitely not me. No, I'm far you too nosy. Up in Freeside, and you're more likely to get a knife in your belly than an answer. I'd like to see them try. I just hope the same hasn't happened to Frank. I'm not exactly built to live in this environment, and I've not seen him in days. Oh. Last I saw him wasn't here on Friday night. 
We like to toast to all the good times and the scrap we collected over the years. Okay. I really regret what I ended up saying, though. Let's just say we had a bit of an argument. Over what? Uh, yeah, I was sorry to hear that. What'd you argue about? No need to be sorry. It's my mess to clean up. I should never have been so dismissive of the kid. Oh, but what were you dismissive of? We had our little celebration here in the Wrangler on Friday, and dear God, we got blasted. Good times. That's when the kid starts going on about how Freeside isn't for him anymore. We had a pretty sweet gig going. The amount of valuable stuff you can find in the garbage is insane. One man's forgotten waste is another's treasure, whatever the saying is. Yo, uh huh. So, he didn't want to prospect with you anymore? Sorry to hear that! Hmm, let's see what else we got here. No money in raiding garbage, especially in Freeside. If I was him, I'd be out of here too. I found some useful items in the trash from time. I have. I very much have. I am a loot whore, so. So that explains the smell. I mean, that is rude, but, um. Also, I really shouldn't call him on the alcoholism part, because I forgot about this, but isn't our character addicted to alcohol? <laughs> Didn't didn't we make that a part of his character when we were playing the previous series? You know what? I'm gonna go with this one. Yeah, I found some useful items in the trash from time to time. Well, it looks like you and I are cut from the same cloth. Indeed, so help me. I wish you could have talked some sense into Frank. Well, he maybe said I still can. Real money was in mercenary work. He didn't take it too well when I said that kind of work is not for him. Well, from what I've heard so far, it probably wasn't. Most of those taps go through some military training before they enter that line of work. Frank could barely catch one of those rats on the street. Oh, yeah, it doesn't sound like he'd be very he good at it. He stormed out yelling about how he'll show me, and I haven't seen him again since. Honestly, wish I could take everything back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So yeah, sorry, where is it that he went? Oh, sorry. Just before he... Wait a minute. How do I know this ain't some sort of trick? Maybe Frank did become a merc after all. You want some of my scotch? I know how <laughs> cutthroat that business is. As far as I know, you could be wanting to kill him. I mean, I may. What makes you think I'll tell you? Well, I could probably bribe you with some scotch in my inventory, but we got some things. Oh, we got a lot of options here. We go with barter. How about a little contest then? I win. You tell me where Frank is. Ooh. What's the contest? I'm kind of intrigued. Uh, but, speech, Frank might still be alive. If you tell me now, I might be able to find him and get him back here. Ooh, I like that one. I've been very kind to Billy so far. May you know, being friendly with him. So this one might be the way to go. Strength, if you want to keep all your teeth, you better tell me. Well, I mean, that would be a hard turn, again, for me being so nice to him. Maybe we can help each other out. I do a you a favor, and you tell me where he's gone. Mm, I'm kind of intrigued to click that one just to see where it goes. But no, we've been very kind to Billy so far. We've been making a rapport for him, being like, yeah, I dig from the trash, too. So, yeah, he, Frank might still be alive. Maybe I could find him. There is always a chance the kid was right all along, and it was just me trying to bring him down. Maybe. Maybe signing up to become a mercenary was the right call after all. I'm going with he's probably a bandit. Or maybe he's face down in a ditch somewhere. Who could be that too? Either way, I need to make things right with that kid. If he's gotten himself into trouble, I'd never forgive myself for not trying to help. As you should, Billy. I yeah, trust just let me you, know. Though. You can't... Ah, dang. Dang. And we don't we don't have the tools to get above the the 60. Uh, I, I don't think we got the magazines for it. Plus, that would only give us plus 5, right? Or am I misremembering? Do I have the perk that gets more? Forget I said anything, apparently. All right, then. He's probably already dead anyway. Wow. Too late to change anything. I mean, you could still, now, still tell me. Now, if you don't mind, I got a bottle I'd like to finish. Okay, let's go through the other options. Hey, Billy! You again. What is it you want this time? Well. Uh, have you, okay. Oh, my God. Are we going to have to go through the whole thing? I was hoping we'd just be, like, straight to the part where maybe I could barter with him this, this time. This again. Oh, I this again? Okay. We already went over this. No, what you're just drunk you and forgetting. I'll tell you this time. <laughs> Let's try the barter one. 
How about a little contest then? I win. You tell me where Frank is. I really shouldn't. Should I? Right enough, I'm sure Frank would understand. He knows a bargain when he sees one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm listening. What's this contest then? Oh, crap, what is the contest gonna be? Ah, we each take a shot of vodka and keep drinking until one of us gives up. How does that sound? Oh, yeah, my my character is addicted. We'll be fine. That sounds like a challenge. Tell you what, I'll tell you where he went if you manage to drink at least three shots of a vodka of my choosing. Three shots? That easy. That's easy. Swell, those Garrett twins cook up as hella strong. Sounds like we should get started. Let me pour you a shot. Yeah, I mean, it's still vodka, though. It's only gonna be, like, somewhere between, like, 30 and 50. That's not... That's not bad. Three shots ain't crap, man. Take the shot, endurance three. Oh, boy. Your turn. Well, that's one shot down. Good job. Uh-oh, what's Pretty my endurance? anyone can handle at least one. Guess it's my turn. Okay. He drinks. Oh, he has got a drink out. He's also leaning on a non-existent table. <laughs> Ooh, endurance five. Ooh, God, what's my endurance stat? <laughs> oh, God. Gotta say, you took that one like a champ. Uh huh. Two is child's play, though. Looks like it's my turn again. Oh, God, I went from three to two. Is it gonna be seven now? I don't know what my endurance stat is. Well, we're about to find out on the third shot. And. Ooh. We're still gonna click it. <laughs> so, we apparently are only at five. Cool, 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 cool. I'm gonna click it though. That's I mean I have to. My character is addicted to alcohol, so this seems like the roleplay thing we should do. Stop trying yourself from stuff. Oh, fuck. Shit. I really thought you had that one there. That would have been the first contest I've ever lost. Would it though? You don't look so great, friend. You might want to go sleep that off. <laughs> I wonder if we're about to pass out. Dang, we're not. <laughs> all right, all right. So, so yeah, trying to trying to get him to tell us by those those other things so far isn't working out. I don't. I still don't want to threaten him because we've been nice to him so far, even having a friendly drinking contest. So let's just go with the hey, buddy. Again. What is it you want this Yes, time? there's something I can do for you. Click it, click it, and maybe we can help each other out. Maybe we can, maybe we can. I saw the Garrets have been sending bounty hunters to hunt people who haven't paid their tabs. Uh huh. Let's just say I owe the Garrets a large sum of caps. They seem to have forgotten about it since nobody's come after me yet. Yet. I'd like to keep it that way. You sort that out, and I'll tell you where Frank is. All right, I'm guessing that's not going to be that much of a bounty. Okay, yeah, just pay him straight. 254? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I got your tab. You're good, man. Uh, Yeah, I'll just pay his tab. Yeah. That's a lot of money. It's really not. I'm sure why you'd be willing to pay it out of your own pocket. Dude, I got over I'm 20 Gs. i though. A deal is a deal. Let me keep my end of the bargain. Wonderful. Before you left. Frank said every mercenary needs a secret hideout to stash their gear. You know, fair. I was skeptical about what he was saying. No, no, you need a place to hide. No idea where the kid learns these things. Either way, he said the El Rey Motel was a good place for that kind of thing. Ooh, I don't know about that. I hope he's all right. He's probably not. Okay, what can you tell me about Frank, though? He's a good kid. He's like a little brother to me. Parents died young, and I took him in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, fair. Kid has it in his head that he has to leave Freeside. Strike it big. Guess he doesn't want to be a deadbeat like me. You know, that's fair. All right, well, I gotta go. Later, Billy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I gotta really care anyway. Yeah, I feel, I feel you, man, after that vodka. I mean, still, though, three shots ain't much. <laughs> All right, well, that's a good place to end since we are just about at the half hour mark here. I mean, we're 29 minutes and 30 seconds on my uh, thing here. So, yeah, we just got to go to the El Rey Motel next time. So, I will... Oh, that's that one. Yeah, okay. I'll take us there next episode, or between episodes, so we'll just be right there. 
for next time around. So hopefully you all have enjoyed this one today and you do come back for the next one. We'll continue on with this. So far, I like it. Good voice acting. Neat little story thus far. Hopefully it doesn't get too cliched, but uh, we'll see where it all ends up. But uh, yeah, until then, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.